the garden center and then you look at the price tag and go, whoa, yep. daddy. Next. You say next. <laughs> not, on, Dad. not today. That is too rich for my blood. But they're uh -huh. bringing it to us at a better price. And Eric's going to explain how they've made this happen. But brand new. It's our only quantities of the season where you get three for $23.28. Free shipping and handling. Use your cue card. Get six easy payments. The item number is M61836. We're looking at the colors that are sort of Line, named based yeah. on the foliage, right? Correct. And they do change color as the season goes on, depending on how much sun you give them, how much water they're getting. It's kind of crazy, mm -hmm. but no matter where they change, they're beautiful. The lime it's come, sometimes has more yellow, sometimes has more green, mm -hmm. chartreuse color. Mm -hmm. And I love the masses it's like, like that. confetti, yeah. Under a tree, especially, because yeah. they don't need the sun, but okay. they can take the sun. But what about, so, okay, let me ask you just for selfish uh -huh. reasons. Yep. I've got an area under a tree where we can't grow anything. Well, as long as it's not a walnut. Right. Okay. It's not. Yeah. Okay. You're good. Okay. Seriously, I don't. Pine trees are tough too. Okay. Because of all the acid. Got the, it. The, the, the needles are going to turn it to high acid. Mm -hmm. and if, you know, it's great for blueberries. But, but otherwise, you're fine. <laughs> yeah. I like it there along the border. Abor yeah, it's on real the flower nice bed. Mm -hmm. it, they are good because they're, they're really not going to get that tall, and they're not going to get that wide. They get about 12 inches um, tall, 24 inches wide. So, and they're evergreen, these varieties. Like you said, you go to the, your garden center and you see these and you kind of get price sticker shock. Mm -hmm. And that's why we haven't brought them. That's in Shelbyville, Indiana, right oh, there, like my that. buddy Mark Kirk. Oh. Yeah, so we brought these here a couple years ago because we finally made a great deal with these wonderful breeders mm -hmm. out of the North Pacific Northwest, Terra Nova, and they come up with all these cool varieties. And not just are they pretty, but they're tough. All these are evergreen. And not only do they bring you this beautiful color, but all the leaves are these special ruffle the edges. Texture. This is like yeah. my top. Yeah, it's yeah, like, it's perfect. Well, this is adding that that mm -hmm. interest because it's something that if you are a beginner, you're focused is I think a lot of people, okay, how much water is it gonna need? What are the sun, all of that. And then when you start to get to the point that you're looking at, adding texture mm -hmm. like this, then it elevates your garden, but you don't have to know what you're doing to grow these. No, but I'll tell you, if, if you had somebody help you, a, a landscaper, designer, right. they would they're gonna say, in. oh yeah, you need you, you need, need heuchers is the name. We call them coral bells, it's much prettier. Uh -huh. Coral bells, you're gonna need coral bells over here and over here, and you're going, what the heck is a coral bell? Right. Why are they so expensive? And I really don't need those. You do, because they add all this year round. These are evergreen foliage. They don't go die back to the ground. They stay colorful. Yeah. Even if you have snow right now, that when the snow melts, you're gonna have color. I like this a lot. So mm -hmm. let's talk live here. What you're getting? Well, the one that I was just loving on. Somebody's bringing some flowers. That's, in. I'm gonna make him hold on to that. Yeah, I know it's fine. heavy. So and I know you don't mind showing <laughs> your muscles off anyway. So I think it's it might no work biggie. Out. No biggie. The lime ruffles. That's what's here in front of me. Mm -hmm. And then the plant that this is, is in the front of chocolate Eric. ruffles. And then down front, that real, like a red Midnight. burgundy. It's almost, it's red and almost black foliage, but look at the bottom yeah. of the foliage. See how colorful uh -huh. that is? Because you will see both colors, as, especially in the wind. That's pretty. Uh, and it's so easy well, to grow. It's under $8. But and look, price, which you can grow with it. Each. In the shade. Yes. Begonias. You want some yeah. flowers with the gorgeous ruffled look. You got to go for the begonias with the coral bells. That's how you have the most colorful, unique. This is Quartz Little Moji sticks that he came he up with. He loves those. I love this. He? He, I know. No, but it does help but drive goes, it home. Because here, these will grow in the sun. They grow in the shade. Yes. The begonias will grow in part sun and they'll grow in the shade. So these all are perfect companions. Yeah. They are, they're wonderful. And look how gorgeous. They look great together, they do don't they? Together. Mm -hmm. This is a beautiful, this Thanks, is a Deb. great set. Six easy payments if you're shopping and using your cue card here today. But this is the only quantities of the season. So you're shopping right now. You just reserve your plants at the moment. You're not billed today. Instead, you're going to be billed when they ship mm -hmm. and they ship when it's time to plant. And that is based on yeah. where you live in the country. They've already done so all of that work for you. Out here is kind of, this is what you're going to get. Nice big plants. Yeah. All right. So I want you to go on. If you got your laptop or your little thing handy that you get on the internet, Phone? Google Smoogle. Okay. And check out, just pop, coral bells. You don't even have to go ruffle series. Just check it out. I, I think you'll be surprised. I've seen these little same size pots, 15 bucks a piece. Wow. And that's not that's going right because they're all patented. Right. We made a deal with the breeders. They know we're bringing them to QVC. 
and they wanted to they like to see their stuff on television <laughs> so we got a better deal <laughs> well i like to see their stuff on television too yes, as luck yes. would have it uh, these are brand Take new advantage. today and it's our only quantities of the year so here we're thinking more containers right you, you can do them in containers they're wonderful in pots you can put them in a hanging basket again like that if you're lucky enough to get our hanging baskets mix them together i just like groups of them here's like three or four of the lime ruffles mm -hmm. together so you'd have to get a couple sets to do that, but it's a beautiful Could look. Could you do, I'm thinking about front door urns since they're not so picky about the amount of sun, because sometimes if you've got a covered yeah. front door area, then you could do these in an urn and then do something taller in the middle. They're nice in a container too in an, or an urn because it's not as picky as far as water. Uh -huh. um, you know, you put something in there like uh, impatience that had to be watered sometimes twice a day. These, these will do fine in your yeah. pots, water them once a week. I've got a lot of deer. Where, mm -hmm. where I live and you know they'll eat almost anything. It, How do they feel it, about these? It, uh, it, the deer will munch on them so you know. <laughs> Plant some sorry. lavender nearby. Put some, put some no, lavender don't around them. Don't say sorry. Put I some want you to say it every them. time it's true because people watching want to know like you don't no, want to plant something I mean, if you think it's going to do something differently. Yeah put your, you should have got our daffodil bulbs. They don't eat the daffodils. They don't eat the lavender. Put your it's, lavender around if you want a little I'm, fence. You know, isn't this gorgeous with the roses? Yeah. I love it's that. Beautiful. Um, and we have a rose coming up this uh, next month. So. <laughs> I love like you this is coming. You should have done yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. Go um, on dot com. You can see all our twenty three dollars and twenty eight cents is what you're getting. Where you can put these in beds. You can mm -hmm. put them in pots. They're winter hardy. They They're take evergreen. temperatures down to twenty five below zero. Yeah. So just about anybody can grow them. That's they great. take the heat. So. This is such an easy, easy plant that gives a lot yeah. of color, a lot of and even these, flowers. I know we're focusing spring. so much on the foliage, but that's, we get the flowers in the springtime. That's why they call them coral bells right. because that reminds of little bells hanging. Um, big, but big. yeah, it's called heuchera is yeah. its actual name, but Thank it's you. Gor gorgeous. Um, thanks for the education, Eric. <laughs> hey, I gotta do something. <laughs> <laughs> we talked about the flowering time just a little bit ago, and I know these were popular in pink and red and purple and in white. You get 30 pieces of living mulch 